Anyone who has lived in a dormitory knows what fun it is. Lots of friends, you can drink beer, take a walk, chat on monotonous evenings, but we, adults, already need more personal space, at least an apartment of our own, ideally a house outside the city. If we look at the residents of Terraria, we will see that they are adults, except for one fisherman, and they need their own room at least, and we can do that. In Terraria there is a mechanic of building entire cities. So are you on the Swello Rider channel? Screensaver and let's go! What is it and why the hell do we need it? First, let's figure out the mechanics. First of all, it's the happiness of the characters. If they live in their favorite biome, and there are no people around them who annoy them, they lower the prices in their shops. This is where the mechanic of pylons comes in. If you settle the characters in different biomes, and one of them is happy, then you can buy a pylon of this biome from them, put it up and teleport between them without any penalties. The maximum number you can have in the world is 9, 8 of which are committed to a certain biome, and one that you can place anywhere you like. And the last mechanic to talk about is that you're the president of this world. So if an NPC gets dumped in any available room initially, you can move him anywhere you want. If you browse the internet a bit, listen to NPCs, you can figure out the city configurations, who to settle with whom and in which biome. The ocean, everything's logical here. You need to settle a pirate, a fisherman, and to keep them from getting bored, a stylist. The only thing that's odd is how the one-legged bearded guy lives alone with a child. In my case, there isn't even a stylist there, but we'll just ignore that. Jungle, the witch doctor and some weirdo Malar live here. As an alternative, you can also settle the triad here, but we'll need it in another city. The triad, in fact, is the only character who doesn't live in their favorite biome. We settle three people in the desert, the dye trader, the arms dealer, and a punk with them. Why do they like hot climates? Understand, the only one who is able to explain this to me is the dyer. He says the paint dries much faster. Who will live in the forest? Guide. Basically, he doesn't leave this biome throughout the game. The truth suddenly dies before the wall of flesh arrives, but we don't know why. We add a golfer, a merchant, and a zoologist to it. And that's where my hub is located. A wizard lives in the hollow, together with fabulous unicorn horses. A party girl, nurse and tavern keeper. I saw his name translated as a tavern keeper, which sounds awful. A dryad lives in the snow biome where it's cold. I hate the winter, it lives next to her, a mechanic who logically is a nurse for cyborg and holds a candle for them, tax collector, or, as he is also called, a banker. I have only one question about the cyborg. Does the oil not freeze, or does he use holes for the cooling system? For the next location, you need to build a mushroom biome on the surface, which is not very difficult, but takes some time, and there we settle fungi and the triad. The triad moved here purely to get the pylon to work and they seem to be doing well here. And the last city we can build is an underground bunker. The goblin living there with the bomber is very strange but the tailor likes it there. There are still two characters left that I don't know where to place and I don't have them yet. These are Santa Claus and Princess, well Santa Claus can be sent to hell and the princess can be sent there too, so what does this leave us with? Every character, except the trio, lives in their beloved biome, which gives discounts, only the golfer lives with a character he hates and one he likes. All other live in the neighborhood, more or less adequate. Well that's about it on city mechanics. Everything else is ordinary construction for beauty, nothing more. In the footage of this video, you saw my cities. Please criticize me as a builder because this is my first job.
In fact, it's the first time I've tried to do something that resembles a dwelling. Therefore, to everyone, all the best. Hugs, goodbye. We will still communicate. Sabi pa pa rin, Hulk. <laughs>